How the Earth System Explains Dinosaur Extinction by Ashley Chase. How could an asteroid kill the dinosaurs? No one knows exactly what happened to kill off Tyrannosaurus rex and most of the other dinosaurs on Earth. Scientists have been studying this question for many years and have a few different explanations. You may have heard the one about an asteroid, a huge flying space rock, crashing into Earth. How would that kill off the dinosaurs? It's easy to imagine an asteroid falling on one T-Rex and squashing it, but all the T-Rex died out, and so did many other species all over the Earth. The asteroid couldn't have fallen on every dinosaur that had died. It is much more complicated than that. To explain how an asteroid could have caused so many different species to go extinct all over the world, scientists have to think about all of the Earth. They have to think about Earth as a system, a group of parts that interact with each other. This book describes one of the most widely accepted explanations of dinosaur extinction. This explanation can be supported by lots of the evidence that scientists have found. There are other possible explanations, but this is one that many scientists accept. Even if we don't know for sure that the asteroid caused the dinosaurs to go extinct, we do know a lot about how the Earth system works. We know that all the parts are connected, so a giant asteroid hitting Earth would affect all parts of the system. In our caption here, we see it says, In rocks like this one, scientists have found evidence that a huge asteroid hit Earth just before the dinosaurs went extinct. The Earth System What does it mean to say that Earth is a system? To think about Earth as a system, it helps to compare Earth to a system we know well, the human body system. The Earth system is constantly developing and changing, almost like a living person. In a living body, parts like the heart, stomach, brain, and bones all work together to keep the person alive. The different body parts interact and affect each other. If a disease damages a person's heart, that damage will affect other parts of the body, in fact, it will affect the person's whole body system. The human body is a system of interacting parts. Just like your body, Earth is a system. Like body parts, the parts of the Earth system interact and affect each other. A change to one part will affect the other parts, as well as the whole Earth system. To explain dinosaur extinction, we need to understand the different parts of the Earth system, the atmosphere, the geosphere, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. Earth is a system of interacting parts. Atmosphere. You've probably already heard of the atmosphere, the mixture of gases that make up the air surrounding Earth. These gases are constantly moving and changing, producing wind and weather. This picture was taken from space. Earth's atmosphere looks like a blue glow above the surface. Geosphere. The geosphere is the solid part of Earth, from its rocky surface to its iron core. Mountains and other landforms are the easiest parts of the geosphere to observe because they are visible on Earth's surface. When volcanoes erupt, materials from the geosphere that we usually can't see come to the surface as lava, which cools and hardens into rock. This picture shows what it might look like if you could see the parts of the geosphere's surface that are covered by ocean water. Hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is all of Earth's water. It includes the oceans, lakes, rivers, ponds, groundwater, glaciers, and more. The ocean is the biggest part of the hydrosphere. Icy glaciers and other solid forms of water are part of the hydrosphere. Lakes, rivers, and streams are another part of the hydrosphere. Water that seeps into the ground and fills cracks and spaces in rocks and soil is called groundwater. Groundwater is part of the hydrosphere too. Biosphere. Bio means life, so the biosphere is made up of all the living things on Earth. Living things on Earth come in all different shapes and sizes, but they're all part of the biosphere. Before dinosaurs went extinct, they were part of the biosphere too. These tiny animals live in the water. They are so small that you can hardly see them. This picture was taken with a microscope. Redwood trees are some of the biggest living things in Earth's biosphere. 
People and all other living things are part of the biosphere.